Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Teenage Wasteland, where we review different teas. It's been almost a year since the last episode of this, and I don't entirely know why. I think I filmed at least one that is still in the pre-filmed folder, but in over 600 videos in there, I'll be damned if I can find it, so <laughs> whenever I run across it, I guess it'll be posted, but today we're doing the Bigelow Peak Energy Black Tea, uh, plus extra L-theanine and caffeine. Supports sustained clarity and focus. So, I'll read stuff off the box and stuff about L-theanine off a website I googled it on because I did not know what exactly that is going in. But I'm always down for stuff for more energy. So, here we are. I'm not quite entirely sure what to expect in terms of taste or anything going into this blind. So, I already have my hot water in my mug, so this will steep as I do the thing, but let me give it a sniffy sniffy first. It literally is just like... like a normal black tea. Like, not quite Earl Grey, but just regular black tea. All right. So let's get that in the water, come on, dunk down, get in your tea hot tub over there, all right, you happy in there? Yeah? Cool, all right, so while that, let's look at the time, okay, so on here we've got the Bigelow family story, we've read it 20 million times, we don't need to do it again, nutrition facts, everything is at like zeros, so, <laughs> except for the protein, which is, or no, not the protein, the potassium, there's 30 milligrams of that. Still 0% of your daily value, but it's something. Uh, 75 milligrams of caffeine. Awesome. That's like almost two sodas worth. I'll take it. There, it's that much caffeine without any of the sugar. And 25 milligrams of L-theanine. Now they, on their caffometer, we have... Let's see here. Herbal tea has none. Decaf tea has 1 to 8 milligrams. Green tea is 25 to 50. Black tea is 30 to 60. Peak energy is 75, which only clocks in behind coffee at 100 to 120. What's 75 and 75? I'm thinking, what would two cups of this add up to? 150? I don't feel like getting a calculator. I I'm just gonna assume that it's slightly more than a cup of coffee if you have two of these, so I might have two of these. Anyway, so... Bigelow Black Tea Blend, Peak Energy Plus Extra L-Theanine, and Caffeine. Our family is proud of our recipe. Each ingredient below has been carefully selected by the Bigelow family to deliver an uncompromised quality tea experience. L-Theanine and Caffeine are naturally occurring compounds found in tea. We've added extra L-theanine and caffeine to this blend, enhancing their synergistic effect that supports cognitive function and sustained energy throughout the day. And then the carefully selected ingredients are black tea, black tea extract, and L-theanine. So helpful! So helpful! And I always love the barcodes on the Bigelow ones. They're shaped somehow like what the thing is. But I guess this one's like mountains. So... <laughs> I don't know, I always like to show them because... They, they're different on the Bigelow ones. So, on the website, let me pull it back up, we have the L-theanine benefits and uses. Most known for helping people relax, L-theanine has other potential health benefits including anxiety and stress relief, which, awesome! I mean, which is kind of funny to me, given a lot of people are like, if you have anxiety, don't drink caffeine! I'm over here like, just pump the caffeine into my fucking veins. So anyway. <laughs> Sipping on a hot cup of tea can help you feel at ease, and research ex <laughs> experience suggests that it not only relaxes the mind, but also does so without causing drowsiness. In a review of five randomized controlled trials that included 104 participants, four trials linked L-theanine with reduced stress and anxiety in people experiencing stressful situations. Another study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry focused on people living with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. Reach, yeah, researchers found that L-theanine decreased anxiety and improved symptoms. Well, I'm not schizophrenic, nor do I have schizoaffective disorder, but I do have anxiety. <laughs> and I do deal with stress, so this only spells good things, I think. So that's the first benefit. Hold up. I will hold on. 
editing note, full disclosure, yes, it was daytime, now it's nighttime, I had dinner, and we're in a slightly different angle, but I think I remember where we left off on that list. I've now brewed a second cup. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so increased focus. Paired with caffeine, L-theanine may help increase focus and attention, which I could also definitely use. Clearly. So <laughs> a small study found that a combination of L-theanine, 97 milligrams, or MG, and caffeine, 40 milligrams, helped a group of young adults focus better during demanding tasks. A typical cup of coffee contains 9 milligrams of caffeine. The study's participants also felt more alert and less tired in general. Better immunity. Some research suggests that L-theanine may improve the body's, or <laughs> missed a few words, the function of the body's immune system. One study published in the journal Beverages found that L-theanine could help decrease upper respiratory tract infections. Very important for me. Very important for me. I'm prone to those. Another one found that green tea catechins, catechins? Never heard of those. Antioxidants and theanine could be effective at preventing the flu. Another study found that L-theanine could help improve inflammation in the intestinal tract. However, more research is needed to confirm and expand on these findings. Tumor and cancer treatment. L-theanine has also been associated with amplifying the anti-tumor effects of certain chemotherapy drugs. Because of these promising findings, researchers expect that L-theanine could also help improve chemotherapy's ability to fight cancer. Although there's no definitive evidence to show that tea prevents cancer, a number of studies suggest that people who regularly drink tea have lower rates of cancer. Researchers of one study in China found that women diagnosed with ovarian cancer who drank at least one cup of green tea a day lived longer than those who didn't. Another study that looked at tea drinkers compared to non-tea drinkers found that women who drank green tea were 32% less likely to, de to develop pancreatic cancer. Blood pressure management. L-theanine may be beneficial for those who experience increased blood pressure in stressful situations. One study found that people who usually experienced higher blood pressure after specific mental tasks found that L-theanine helped reduce an increase in blood pressure. In the same study, the researchers noted that caffeine had a similar but less beneficial effect. Some research indicates that L-theanine could be beneficial to a night's good or to a good night's sleep, which could be because it helps to promote relaxation. Which, again, seems so weird given caffeine, which is a stimulant, helps relax. But I'm like, little Miss ADHD over here is like, well, yeah, duh, that's what we've all known for us. But I guess for everyone else, this stuff works for that. That's cool. Researchers in one study found that doses of 250 milligrams and 400 milligrams of L-theanine greatly improved sleep in animals and humans. Also, 200 milligrams of L-theanine was shown to help reduce resting heart rate, pointing to its ability to promote relaxation. Wait, before we go further, since I did have one cup a little bit ago, let's see. Let me time it. Well, let's find out if it did or not. So I know where I'm usually at with it. Okay, but where do we have the clock that actually shows seconds? Oh, is it not on here? Come on. Windows is weird now. You used to just be able to, like, tap the clock and get that. Dang it. Okay, I'll use my phone. We'll do it this way. I can use the timer on there. La 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 la. Not camera. Duh. Not calendar. Wow. Clock. The Lizdexia is real in this one. <laughs> okay. So we've got the timer. No, stopwatch. So. Okay. 27 times 4. Let's find out. Because the way you find out your pulse rate, you you feel your pulse point for 15 seconds, count how many beats, times it by four, and that's your current pulse. 108. Well, 
it didn't really help me much on that front so it's a little lower than like my normal resting one is because I'm very prone to having it like run around like 120 I know a little hummingbird heartbeat I know I know but um that's just the way I've been my whole life it's so super ventricular tachycardia over here so anyway yeah it goes way too damn fast it is what it is so anyway but still that's uh, ever so slightly lower and given that I'm in the middle of like talking and doing this that's not too bad because it seems like normally it would probably be a bit higher doing that so I'll take it as a slight win anyway continuing right on okay L-theanine may also help boys diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder ADHD sleep better a double-blind study looked at the effects of L-theanine on 98 boys aged 8 to 12 years old. A randomized group was given two 100 mg chewable tablets of L-theanine twice daily. The other group received placebo pills. After six weeks, the group taking L-theanine had longer, more restful sleep. While the adults are promising, <laughs> while the results are promising, more research is needed before it can be proven safe and effective, especially for children. Other research suggests that L-theanine improves sleep quality for those diagnosed with schizophrenia. So those are the benefits. L-theanine risks and side effects. There are no confirmed or direct side effects of consuming L-theanine. Generally speaking, it's safe to drink teas and supplements that contain L-theanine. So here, FDA doesn't regu uh, regulate the supplement. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. However, though some research shows promising results <laughs> result, results for L-theanine's anti-tumor properties, teas that contain I can talk, really, that contain amino acids can have other ingredients that could be harmful to people being treated for cancer. Doesn't that whatever. Anyway, according to Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, the polyphenol EGCG found in green tea can reduce some chemotherapy drugs efficacy such as bortezomib bortezomib I think is how you pronounce that for that reason it's crucial for those taking chemotherapy drugs to talk with their healthcare provider before drinking green tea as a part of their treatment plan while there haven't been reported side effects from taking L-theanine because of the caffeine content, consuming large amounts of green tea can lead to nausea, upset stomach, or irritability. Well, that's true of any large amount of caffeine. That's not what you're really going to find here. But if you want to know what happens when you do consume large amounts of caffeine, I made a story time video on that years ago because I kind of OD'd on caffeine by mistake one time in my teens. Anyway, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should also limit how much tea they drink to avoid over-caffeinating. Okay, let's see. Safe dosage recommendations for L-theanine. Because there's no conclusive research, a safe theanine dosage recommendation isn't known. But following general caffeine consumption guidelines can be helpful if you're drinking tea. It's best for those taking an L-theanine supplement to consult a medical provider for guidance on dosage. Okay, is there anything else or is that it? Yep, that's it. So, with all that in mind, now that I've wasted like eight minutes of your time reading all that, now I'm reminding myself how much L-theanine was in here, did it say? 25, yeah, we are nowhere near the numbers that that article just mentioned, so, anyway. Now that this has more than have had enough time to steep, let's give it a little snip snip. It's a really nice black tea, very smooth scent to it. A little bit earthy, but otherwise smells like just your run-of-the-mill standard black tea. I didn't add any sugar or anything to it, so I can give you an accurate flavor profile here. You're welcome. So. So this is where I do notice a difference from like just generic black teas. So it is like really, really smooth. It reminds me of Stash in that way, uh, the brand Stash. 
but there's almost like a floral aftertaste to it. Like it may be jasmine or something. It didn't mention jasmine in the ingredients, but it reminds me of teas that do contain that. It doesn't have the harsh bite to it that a lot of just straight black tea, especially unsweetened, tends to have. So, kind of nice. Yeah, I keep letting it hit different areas of my tongue to pick up on different flavors if there's anything else going on in there. I am more getting that floral note than anything else in there. And it's like a little bit sweet just on its own, but only in the aftertaste. As it's actively in your mouth, it just tastes like normal black tea. Now, having drank a cup of this earlier because I hit stop and came back and didn't finish the other one. This is the second one. I can safely say this is not the kind of tea that's going to give you jitters or anything. That is kind of the beauty of when there's caffeine in like green teas, black teas. It tends to be a much gentler caffeination than say slamming a bunch of soda or a bunch of coffee or what have you. Um, so I find that it's a more steady, stable form of caffeine. Um, like I said, no jitters, it doesn't really make you shaky or anything. It does definitely help with the focus, I, I'll tell you that, even though I kind of suck at reading out loud and trip over my words. That's more because I'm a little bit dyslexic around the edges, and my eyes jump from one line to the next without meaning to, and it's like, damn. But <laughs> anyway, that that's my issue, but it wasn't any kind of, like, tea jitters. Now, the L-theanine, I can't say is I feel anything different with this than I do from just, like, a normal caffeinated tea. It just feels like drinking regular standard tea, except that I am far more awake for it. Again, not jittery awake, not wired awake, just as if you had a great night's rest, woke up feeling refreshed, have been up for maybe half an hour, it makes you feel like about that level of energy right there, that level of awake, like right at the start of the day. And it is like currently 9.30 at night. That is unheard of for me to feel that awake at this hour. I am just saying. I'm just saying. So I have to admit, I really like this one. I was unsure when I bought this how how different it might really be, to be honest with you. I wasn't sure because it does just say black tea on it for the peak energy thing. So I figure it's going to be like every other black tea on the market. Yeah, it's got some natural caffeine in it, so how different is it going to be? But I stand corrected. It does have a really nice flavor profile. It has a very nice, stable energy sourcing, however you want to put that. You don't crash after, which, again, hugely helpful if you're using it for things like focus. You do not want to crash later. Um, something like this is just, like, nice and stable and, like, as it wears off, you don't really even notice it. It's not like with coffee where all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, the afternoon slump. It's not like that at all. It's just really nice, and I'm actually very impressed with this, I have to admit. I didn't go into this expecting to give it such a high rating. I'm giving this a 5 out of 5, believe it or not. When's the last time that happened with Bigelow? I can't even remember. But it is really nice. I highly recommend it, especially if you opt for tea over coffee in terms of caffeine. It's a really good option for you. So... Anyway, that is it for this one, my dudes. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already, you'd like to be click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do on this channel, you'd like to help support it. The donation link, as always, is down in the description. Get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating. Anyway, guys, till next time. See ya.